Now on BBC HD, a curious list of ingredients in the legend of Dick and Dom. Many, many years ago, a terrible plague was turning the people of Fyrdor into horrible beasts. And a few nice, cuddly ones. <laughs> Their only hope of a cure rested with Princess Dick and Dom. Their light-fingered servant, Lutin, and their trusty mage, Manitou. Unfortunately, they were utterly useless. They dropped the first antidote, mucked up the replacement antidote... Get out! ...and now must collect the ingredients to re-remake the antidote before all of Fyodor is doomed forever. The legend of Dick and Dom continues. It's another beautiful day in Bottom World, and Manitou is making oh. a spot of lunch. Manitou, what's actually in this soup? Ah, well, um, some hot water, mm. uh, a few dandelion leaves. No, I, I can taste something else. Mm. Uh. Is that cow pat? Uh. <laughs> Just a crumble. Mm. <laughs> 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 Well, we're completely out of real food. Well, why don't we stop off at a village and get some? That's it. It's not too bad when you get used to it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe we could stop off en route to find the next item on the scroll. Oh. So, it's the brain of a prince called Dick. <laughs> Brilliant. An easy one. Oh, yeah, right. How are you going to get my brain out, eh? Well, let me see. We just have to, uh, yank your hair like this. Ah, oh, careful! Open up the top of your bunce like an orange. Oh. Chisel through the skull. Oh, my goodness. Yank it open. <laughs> Pull out the brain. <laughs> and pop it in the potion! <laughs> not on the scroll, man at all. The magic parchment is difficult to clean. Oh. I'm just not very good with this kind of thing. Oh, hurry. Should be me that's blowing chunks. I need my brain. And, um, when exactly was the last time you used it? Mm. Yes, and remember, little brother, it's all about the quest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Give it here. <laughs> Give it here. Right, get him! Get him! Come out! Come here! Meanwhile, deep within the forest, a shadowy figure stood menacingly over four cute, fluffy, defenceless animals. <laughs> With a brew of his own creation, he transformed them into evil copies of our heroes. The swine! Oh, come on, Dick. Hand over your brain, you big, greedy pig. Big, greedy pig. Hello, this is my brain. Listen, I won't even have to open up your bonce, right? I can use this. I'll just shove it over your ear, give it a right good pump in, and your brain will just get sucked straight out through your ear hole. <laughs> Let me spell it out. N-O-W. No! Uh, Prince Dick does have a point. Mm. We all know the importance of the quest, but would any of us actually sacrifice our own brain? Mm -hmm. well, come to think of it, no. No, yeah, I suppose so. All right, love. If you come down, we promise to leave your brain in your bonds. Hit me! So, what are we going to do then? Well, we still have to find the brain of a prince called Dick. Oh, mm. he mind his brain. Oh, wait a moment. The brain of a prince called Dick. Yes, and. But well, the scroll doesn't specify this prince Dick. Oh, he's right. What? So we've got to hunt around for another royal dick and get his brain? Well, this is bottom world. There's princes all over the shop. I suppose you're right. Let's go. <clears throat> and so, as our heroes set off to find another prince dick, their new evil twins prepared to carry out their wicked, twisted purpose. So, plan this is. Master says, we do lots of evil stuff. <laughs> evil stuff? Goodness sounds. <laughs> and other dick dog Manitou and Lutin will get blamed, yeah? Yeah, they get blamed. To dungeons they will go. Forever! <laughs> oh, maybe help I can by conjuring up evil spells. <laughs> Coming, 
when someone is... I wish you had... Hurry up! I haven't got all day, you know. I heard that. Oh. <laughs> Out of my way! I'm a princess, don't you know? What are you doing sneaking around? Hold on. Don't I know you? Don't think now. Oh, well, um, if this is a hold-up, I beg you not to harm me, a weak and feeble lady. Just take the family jewels. No, 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 no. We want more than jewels. We want this. Oh, oh, no, not the fish, not the fish. Oh, oh, let it be. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, thank goodness they've gone. Oh! 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 Gregory, take me to the nearest police station. This horrendous crime must be reported immediately. What are you laughing at, you dippy dancing, jumping of dopey doom? Hurry up! This Prince Dick of Dobblethwaite doesn't want to give us his brain. <laughs> Just hold him still. Oh! <laughs> yes? Ah, hello, uh, we'd like to have a word with Prince Dick, please. Oh. <laughs> What's wrong? Where's Prince Dick? <laughs> My son, Prince Dick, is gone! Gone, I tell you! Gone! When's he coming back? We're happy to wait. Coming back? He's never coming back! Oh, where is he? He went on a mission to fight the notorious dragon of Sloppy Poppington, and it ate him! He's been eaten by a dragon? Oh, great! I mean, terrible, terrible. Woe isn't, isn't that terrible? This is terrible. <laughs> woe is me! Woe! Woe is me! Woe! We are very sorry, Your Highness. You can say that again. Now, this dragon, he didn't happen to spit out any of Prince Dick, did he? Specifically, his brain? Yeah, and if he did, maybe we could buy it off you? You people are sick! As our heroes bid their farewells to Queen Marcia, all over Bottom World, their evil doubles were committing despicable, criminal acts. The kicking up the bum of Baron Colin the Stiff. The painting orange of Castle Whoopsie. And the mega wedging of poor innocent peasants. Totally outrageous! <laughs> and the last one, he was older, right baldy. And you see, they all had Gerties. Gerties? Aye, you know, Gertie Beards Lake. Oh, goatees, yes. Yeah, yes, that's them. Well, Devon, you worry yourself, pet. I'll catch these criminals. Or war name isn't Sheriff Harold Bat. Hey, looks like a village up ahead. Maybe we can get some food. Finally, I'm starving. Wait a sec. What's this? It's us. Yeah. Wanted for crimes against Bottom World. Crimes? But we haven't committed any crimes. Oh. How can we've got all these funny goatee beards? Yeah, someone's drawn all over the poster. That is vandalism. Oh, whatever. Can we just go to this village and get some food? Oh, wait. Then the villagers will surely think that these wanted criminals are us. Yeah, he's got a point. They might nick us and throw us in some smelly dungeon. Yeah. <gasps> I think I may have an idea. Yeah, and I'll have the pan-fried badgers line too. Yeah. OK, so that's two badgers, hmm. one squirrel terrine and one hedgehog surprise. Oh, um, what's the surprise? Bad! Oh, jeez! Oh, <laughs> I'll be back with your drinks. Oh, God. We're still 
little no closer to finding the brain of a prince called Dick. Just relax, we'll have a nice meal, we'll get some supplies, then we'll be out of here before you can stay. Right! Near body move! You got a license for that bunny, son? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. No, 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 no. I've shot it. Well, well, well. What have us got here then? Here? You're nicked, me old beauties. Do you know who we are? We're princes. This is our ring. Yeah, we're on an important quest. Let's take the good people of Firedog. Shut it. Get in there. Uh, right then. As a police officer, I like to deal in facts, and the facts are these. Use four fit the description of these four who've been gun wronged committing acts of a criminal nature. That wasn't us. I am a law abiding wizard. Uh, yeah, it's obviously a fit up job. Oh, it's a fit up job, is it? Huh? Oh, sorry about that. Maybe I should just let you all go then, eh? Oh, yeah, that'd be great. Thanks very much. <laughs> Don't be so stupid, son. Mm. Now, I know you're guilty. And by the time I finish with you, Slot, you'll all be squealing like a. Goblin, who's just been told he can't have another egg sandwich by his mum. <clears throat> Constable Carrot? Sir? Prepare the dimly lit and sparsely furnished room. It's time for a bit of interrogation. Sir? When Baron Colin the Stiff was getting his navel backside kicked, where were you? I was asleep in the forest with my brother Dom, Manitol and Lutin. Sir, the other three suspects are your alibi, are they? I don't know. What, you didn't know if they're your alibi or not? No, I don't know what alibi means. Sheriff Harold has... Oh, Shot it, Baldy! Yes. Now look, why didn't you just save his birth some time, yeah? You admit to giving a couple of innocent peasants mega wedges. I would never give a peasant a wedgie. That's what they all see! This yours? Yeah, so? I got a Princess Gloria what can put you at the scene of her family jewels getting nicked. Oh. And what have we got here then, eh? Jules weeks ago. Yeah, uh, really. Let the record share the suspect is admitted to the theft of a bag of jewels. How are you? But look, look, it wasn't me. I'm a law abiding prince of the realm. Listen, son, why didn't you stop wasting valuable police time and just <laughs> cough it? Hmm? I see. What? Playing it like that, are we? <laughs> You're forcing me to take drastic measures, sunshine. What? Oh, no. No, no. No, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you squealed. Yeah, for stuff we never even did. I, I didn't know what was going on. He's talking to me about stretching me on a rack. Then he took out this large feather, and I don't know what happened. It was all just too much, and I just took it off. Right. <laughs> I'm formally finding you lot guilty of all the charges. Sheriff Butt, can I just have a I've word? I've got a signed confession. So I can take you straight down to the dungeon where you lot will stay. Sheriff Bat, I really need... Rot in for the rest of your days in a tiny cell with terrible food and a little gadget called Alan. What absolutely stinks. Sheriff Bat! What is it, Carrot? This bloke said his hovel broken into and his pet hamster shaved. Poor Hetty. Without her fur, she caught a cold and... All right, all right, sir. 
Calm down, calm down. Now, did you happen to get a good look at these uh, hamster shavers? I certainly did. There were four of them. Four of them, you see? Oh, yeah. That was quick. You've caught them already. What is she talking about? Well, they've lost the goatee beards, but that's definitely the four who shaved my hetty. Oh, I see. So, whilst we've been locked in this cage, we've also been out shaving this buffoon's hamster. Hmm. I'd say that was pretty much impossible. Sir, maybe somebody's magically cloned these prisoners and their doubles have been committing the crimes. <sighs> Carrot. In all war years of nicking villains, I've never heard such a far-fetched, idiotic and stupid... Hold on a moment. I've got it. What if someone's magically cloned these four prisoners and it's their doubles what have been d in the noughties? Yes. Yes, that's it. I know a cloning spell myself. Any skilled wizard can perform it. <laughs> that's you off the hook. <laughs> uh, excuse me, but seeing as we're obviously innocent, any chance of letting us go? <clears throat> Aye, all right. Easy mistake to make there. I mean, you're all identical doubles of the villains, like. Wait a sec. Identical doubles? What are you saying? Well, don't you see? We need the brain of a prince called Dick for the potion, yeah? Right. Well, if there's an identical double of Dick running around, we just need to catch him and suck out his brain instead. <laughs> Sheriff Harold Bat, we'd like to join forces with you in your search for these heinous criminals. Yes, on condition that if we catch them, we suck out my brain. Well, the other Dick's brain, that is. Listen, son, if we catch these wrong uns, you can suck out as many brains as you like. Oh. <laughs> Get a cloth. Unaware that Harold Bat and our heroes were hot on their trail, the evil doubles continued their crime spree. Oh, today we muck muck too long. <laughs> In face of three damsel. <laughs> Bury seven wenches up to neck oh. in poo. <laughs> oh, and forget not paint an entire field of cows pink. <laughs> <laughs> uh, police, after us they are. Evil plan working! Yeah. Soon, Dick the Manitou had looted a dungeon, yeah! Gear. It's amazing. Just like looking in a mirror. How about this, my yeah. evil cackle? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what we need to do now is find out where that lot's going to strike next. How do we do that? Simple. Infiltrate the camp, get the information. No, no, that's a rubbish plan. They'll know you're an imposter. Not me, you duck egg. I mean one of you's lot. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna go pee pee. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, don't forget, shaky, shaky. <laughs> uh. <coughs> All right, son, put it away nice and slowly. <laughs> We just suck his brain out right now. <laughs> Man. What, and leave the other three criminals on the loose? I didn't think so, pet. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Dicky? Don't you like that, eh? I bet you're ticklish too, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, under the armpit. That's the worst spot, isn't it? <laughs> All right, son, he's had enough of that. Sorry. Right. Now, you know what to do. You've got to get in there and find out where they're going to strike next. All right? Okay. Good. And luck. remember, 
be evil. Evil, mm. right. Well, off you'd get, then. Mm. That way. Mm. Now. <laughs> evil dick, back you in. Where you been, eh? Why so long peeping? Oh, ha, ha, I've just been over there having a little, uh... Oh, uh, uh, I've been in the trees having a... <laughs> well done, son. Well done. <laughs> Guys, where are you? Oh, fly me! Okay, this is the big one. They've got hold of all this minotaur snot. Minotaur snot? Carries a stiff sentence if you're caught packing that stuff. Yeah. What are they planning to do with it? Well, I don't know, but they keep mentioning the fairiest fairy fair. But that's one of the most prestigious events in the bottom world social calendar. Aye, and it's happening later on today. The sickos are going to attack the fair. Huh? But everyone loves the fairest fairy fair. Imagine what would happen if the fairies got snotted. Civil unrest, son. All over bottom world. That's why we're going to be there, watching and waiting. Right, back you get. What, I've got to go back? Aye, son. You're undercover now. We can't send this gadget yeah. back, can we? <laughs> Give the game away. <laughs> and remember, act evil. evil. Yes, I yes. know. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, and the award for the most fragrant fairy breath goes to... Fairy Francesca! Nice. Keep them peeled, everyone. And now... I spy with one little eye. Right. I want you two to take those two. The minute they try and use the minotaur snot, jump them. Right. Aye, aye. And above the chin. And the award for the prettiest fairy nose goes to... Fairy Fritzy! Oh, quite a surprise. Didn't think she'd do it, was she? And now, ladies and gentlemen, for the big one. This year's award for the fairest fairy of them all. Ooh! What are you standing on here for? Devil worry, son. Everything's under control. Yeah. We spotted an evil manitol and an evil lutin. So, uh, so just relax. It's evil Don you should be worrying about. Look, over there. <laughs> Still me. He's got to snot the fairest fairy. <laughs> so, here we go. The award for the fairest fairy of them all goes to... Fairy Fanella! <laughs> <laughs> well, use lot as opposed to use lot, obviously. <clears throat> Brilliant. So, uh, can I suck Evil Dick's brain out for the potion now, yeah? Nah, fill your boots, pet.
You idiot carrot! You've let the prisoners escape, man! But, sir... What happened to our evil double? Well, these cloning spells, they don't last forever, as you can see. Right, I'm off. These lot are still on the wanted list. Carrot, you two, try and head them off at the pass. Sir, so how about... Is this farewell? Aye, son. Crime we ain't crack itself, you know. Mind all your gear. Stop that bunny! Sheriff Harold Bad. <laughs> what a guy. <laughs> Mr. Pongy want a bathy? Of course, now we are back where we started. What do you mean? Uh, the brain of a Prince called Dick, remember? Just that we no longer have a spare Prince Dick. <clears throat> you know what? Hmm? I've been thinking about this, oh. and I've come to a decision. The quest is the most important thing. More important than any one individual. More important than me, Prince Dick. So, I will therefore give up my beloved brain for the potion, for the people of Fyodor, for the quest! Oops, that was actually quite moving. So, you're really okay with me sucking out your brain? Yeah, go right ahead. All right then. Mm -hmm. Hold still. Yeah. Dick? Huh? You're right. Did you just speak? Yeah. I feel exactly the same as I did before. <laughs> it's amazing. Removing his brain seems to have had no discernible effect whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> well, you lot always said I thought with my stomach, yeah. so I think you were right all uh, along. Uh, <laughs> oh. Oh. Ah, yeah. ah. So, the brain of a prince called Dick was added to the potion, and our hero's epic journey continued. As for this shadowy figure, he was none too pleased his plan to get the gang locked up was thwarted. Still, at least his pets managed to escape from Harry Bat, and they never failed him again. so much trouble when Mike sees this. Come on, let's hide. Maybe we could paint it into something less hairy. Just cover it with this. Well, don't just stand there. Fantastic. My very own mural. That deserves some pizza. Tracy Beaker returns Friday at 5.15 on BBC HD.